We ended season nine um, with the squad, anyway, with Cruz, uh, Cap, Tony, Severide, uh, stuck in a, a fus fuselage, if you will, of a boat. So it's overturned, capsized, and we go scuba diving, we go through and get stuck. So we pick up season 10, right where we left off, uh, and the guys are in dire straits and in need of air. So it's kind of... Uh, uh, par for the course. We always have cliffhangers, uh, like you said, at the end of seasons. And for the most part, it's usually Bowden, <laughs> Bowden on a walkie saying, uh, report, report. So in that same vein. And so we're hoping that, uh, you know, I think the audience will really enjoy uh, watching it. And we hope the guys get out. There's a lot of changes at Firehouse 51. Uh, I wish I could tease more regarding... Uh, Stella and Severide's relationship as, as I, I don't know. We, we <laughs> I get scripts as they come, and I, I go as is, and I try not to pick the brains of the writers, producers too often. But we're, we're in a good place. Like, uh, Stella and Severide have had their ups and downs, peaks and valleys, if you will, and they've kind of leveled out uh, at a really good place. Uh, what would be a wrench uh, in the relationship or just the, not chemistry, but the house, is that she's, she's pursuing a lieutenant uh, title, and you, you wouldn't have two, three, uh, more than two lieutenants at a house. So we kind of get, delve into that. Uh, Bowden himself is offered a new role, and there'll be some changes at, as of, in life. So we'll see a lot of changes at, at Firehouse 51.